people with two different stories. One woman I spoke with is trapped by circumstance, the other staying by choice. Both have one goal, to stay alive as Milton barrels down. Okay, it's time to seal down the fort. This is Julia Jingles. She's hunkering down in Marion County as Hurricane Milton makes landfall. The single mom of an 11-year-old hasn't gone through many hurricanes, so she leaned on TikTok for survival tips. I was told to put um, X tape on it in case it shatters, so I did that. X tape around it um, uh, in an X shape, and then I also put my bar and my bed on it in case it pushes and tries to blow this way and um, try, you know, the glass falling all on us and stuff like that. Jingles was taking care of her day-to-day -day business and her car battery died. She says by the time she could evacuate, it was too late. I did deal with Helene, so I felt like, okay, I'm going to have to try to duke it out here again. The Baltimore native says she's hoping to ride out the storm. First of all, that wind is really strong. 120 miles away in St. Petersburg, Florida, wind gusts have topped at least 100 miles per hour. The down power line. Andre Hudson shared this video with us. He's a native Floridian and says he decided not to evacuate. In this building, 14 years. So it's been a few storms come through, but I've never really had to leave this building downtown St. Pete. This is like one of one of the best built structures downtown St. Pete here. So, you know, it's that it's that brick and that steel, solid, solid foundation. Hudson's biggest concern right now is losing power. He says his building has a backup generator. We're on the power grid with the hospital as well as uh, we have a backup generator here. But shortly after our interview. Milton caused a transformer to blow right before Hudson's eyes. Now, Andre Hudson still has power, but tonight 315,000 people living alongside him in Pinellas County are in the dark. And in Marion County, 28,000 customers there are without power. We hope and pray that everyone there is okay, Scott.